What's up, YouTube? Top Tactic Fishing here. Welcome to another episode. Got me back here in my boat, and uh, we're trying to get some flathead catfish for you guys. Haven't been too successful uh, recently in getting them, so I'm really devoting tonight uh, to try to get on some flathead. So we're getting near the spawn. It's the end of May. Uh, water temp, 73 degrees about. So this is the kind of water temp where that starts to happen. So. It may have already be spawning, I'm not really sure, but uh, we got a good selection of bait tonight. I'll show you what I'm using. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So four rods. Everything's pretty much practically rigged up here. I have Sunnies and I have Creek Chub. Um, the Creek Chubs are going to be used as live tonight and uh, everything else for the bluegill probably be cut. So, best I could do, I mean, still a good selection of bait. You can never go wrong with bluegill, even though you may not get the biggest flathead, but you will get flatheads on them. So, I'm trying to grab something right now. There we go. So, there's a little bit. You got some current, which is always a plus. And where that brush pile is, it gets a little bit more slack, which I like. So... I'm liking that. Oh, missed it. I usually hook the bluegill through the top, believe it or not, on the, on the, um, for the head pieces, but I've been trying to go more on the lips now, too, through the nostrils. I just find that they probably just stick better, so I'm going to do it like that on the head piece there. And let's get this one out. All right, now with this guy, we're going to do it. Now, I have cotton fish here before. I've caught in flathead here before. Channel catfish here. <laughs> That's how we're going to do that guy. There it is. Creek chub. That's good right there. All right, guys, nothing cooking here, so we're going to go ahead and try another spot. Stay tuned. This may be like a channel, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think this is a channel, feisty channel. Oh, what a mess. You got him though. He's feisty, all right. Ah, brother, we're going to have to fix all of this. Not bad for a channel. All right, guys, first one. He'll probably go like seven pounds. Seven or eight pounds, not bad for a channel. Let's release it. All right, guys. Gosh, this fish stinks. Hit like a freight train, this did. All right, now i got to figure this all out. Get all my lines. Back out. Oh, jeez. Oh. 
coming towards me. Feisty channel, we'll see that. Jeez, this guy's bringing me all over the place. Oh my goodness. Uh, he came off. Uh, another channel. Came off. Uh. Uh, all right, guys. So, yeah, like I said, that channel came off right at the boot. When I was trying to net it, it uh, got caught with the hook, so it was barely hooked. So, but we're gonna move on to another spot. Hopefully we can get our first flathead of the night. All right, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna call it quits. I think the spawn is here, which is why the bite's been very, very slow. So um, just managed to only catch one fish tonight. So, I mean, it was a nice big channel, but and then we missed one at the boat, and then we missed a couple here, a couple runs, uh, no flatheads. I think they were all just channel catfish. Um, but uh, I really do think that a lot of these flatheads are really starting to nest, so. Um, it happens, uh, not the best trip, but you know, this is um, all part of fishing. It's good to get the boat out still, and, um, but uh, hopefully, um, you know, all fish spawn at different times. So uh, maybe the next time I go out that we'll be able to get some of these flatheads. So I appreciate you guys watching. Please give a thumbs up, please give a thumbs up for this video still, and we'll catch you on the next one on Top Tactic Fishing. Take care, guys.